accelerated course of study. So uh, I'm in my van. I'm off to Milan. I'm super excited. I was waiting for my results uh, of the PCR test for like the whole day, but I'm negative. Uh, I was actually sick uh, the last five days, which got me worried, but all is well. It was just, it seems a sinus infection. That's why I'm still a bit nasal, but never mind. Still going strong. I'm going to Milan uh, and then I'm off to a place called Torita di Siena, where I'm gonna participate in a competition, uh, Giulio Neri. So I'm super excited um, and let's drive. Now it's uh, 1942. Uh, we'll see how long it will take me because you never know on Italian highways But you know, I did this route enough times that I'm I'm okay with it. I have my water with me I have my peppermint essential oil in my pocket to sniff on and Let's get this show started So It's 2 a.m. here in Milan um, I arrived around like 30 minutes ago, but because I was with my van, it was a bit harder to find parking. But I'm here. I love this city and I'm just, I'm so happy to be here again. Hi, hello from Milan. Um, here in Italy, it's necessary to wear masks even in the out on the outside, but I have this super fancy mask for Milano. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting around drinking my coffee and like breakfast in Milan even if you're walking is so good I just love the city. Anyways, uh, my boyfriend has to get tested because uh, uh, He has rehearsals at the theater Tatra la Scala, so he has to get tested. I'm waiting for him just walking around. It's a bit cloudy, but Doesn't matter. I just love being here. This is Italy for you cappuccino with three types of chocolate inside. What even Italians? So good. Let's try. This is actually edible, so you should put your mouth your way. Mm. That's awesome. <laughs> so back in the car, driving through the beautiful Toscana, it's just it's really wow. It's like Anyways, um, so I'm driving um, a lot. Unfortunately, my boyfriend had to stay in Milano. Milano. Uh, I'm driving to a place called Torita di Siena because there's where that's where the competition takes place. I actually made a little bit of a mistake uh, when I was googling the competition. I thought it was like two hours away from Milano, uh, which was very convenient. Uh, you know, I thought. Uh, we're gonna go together, you know, I'm, I'll be able to sleep in Milano. I don't have to sleep uh, far away or pay for overnight stay, but it turns out it's four and a half hours, so Googled it wrong, but never mind. I'm enjoying the views. I'm going there tonight I'm gonna sleep over like 10 kilometers away from this place and then tomorrow evening is my slot for the first round and then in the evening I'm gonna sit in the van and go back to Milano because the first round is Thursday, so today's Wednesday, the first round is Thursday and Friday um, and so it's just, it just doesn't make a lot of sense for me to stay for a whole day just wait for the results when my boyfriend is so near more or less. Uh, so we'll see if I'll have to go back on Saturday for the semifinals but yeah that's the plan and I cannot wait to show you where I'm sleeping because I found this incredibly cute place um it's just it was kind of right now it's blowing my mind i mean now we're in a tunnel so i can't show you but it's it's beautiful and i'm listening to stephen fry's harry potter so that's a good drive not bad life is not bad look how pretty that is it's just well not my glass but ignore my glass but look how pretty it is it's just it's really special. I finally arrived to this like beautiful, um, it's not a farm, but like a, an estate. I have this huge room. Uh, I'll show you, well, when it's gonna be morning, I'll show you the view because I can already see it's beautiful. People here, I just love Italy because people here are so wonderful and so warm and um, especially if you say you're a singer, an opera singer, they're gonna go crazy for you. So look at this bathroom. I mean, it's huge. It's really huge. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm 
I'm happy I'm here because I never drove this way. Uh, it seems just so beautiful. I'd like to make this. I feel really privileged to be able to make this little trip and also to sing. Uh, when I told them I'm a singer that tomorrow I have audition, a competition in the evening, of course they know the competition is going on here, and they were like, yeah, you can stay longer in the room, there's no problem, so uh, they're really, I, that's why I love Italians, they're so nice and full of energy and they're just like, they're my people. So I'm just gonna chill, I'm gonna see if I can watch, I actually wanna watch Hamilton real bad, I don't know why, so I'm gonna wanna see if that's possible here, you know, we'll see how the Wi-Fi works. Mm, and yeah, I'm just gonna chill until tomorrow. The good thing is that my audition is at like 7 p.m. tomorrow, so I have a lot of time and I can sleep, which is great. So yeah. So my diffuser is working, Thieves and Purification. If you thought I I left home without it, you haven't been here long. Anyways, I love hotel rooms that give you tea. So, and coffee for the morning, thank you, I love you. Um, so I'm gonna make some tea. Um, yes, chamomile tea, perfect for the evening. This is like, this is so important to have in, in hotel rooms and that's, I love them for this. So I'm gonna go into my jammies, watch some Netflix and just chill. See you in the morning. Good morning. Um, it's nine o'clock in the morning. And look at this view. Look at that. I slept really great. But I had to wake up early because breakfast is until like 10. I said I'll be around 9. Uh, because who misses an opportunity for a free breakfast, right? I mean, yeah. So I'm going to go have breakfast. I can't wait to see what it's like. Be, so, be based on the surroundings. Who knows? It's Italians, especially that I'm curious about. Um, and yeah. And then I have no idea what I'm going to do because I have like 10 hours. <laughs> But um, we'll see. I didn't do my ritual, my routine. I'm gonna do it after breakfast, so, because I'm not gonna miss that. Let's go. Look how beautiful it is. It's like a little village. There's a terrace here. Um, and yeah, it's like a little village. I really love it. So breakfast done. It's a bit weird these days because you can't take anything for yourself. You know, you have to say, two pieces of bread please and t like one piece of this ham or whatever uh, but it was a good breakfast coffee it was so good and now look at this view I'm on a panoramic terrace and wait I'm sure I'm gonna show you oh god look how beautiful that is it's so peaceful and quiet here Really beautiful. Look at this vineyard. This place where I'm staying, they're like agriculturism. So this is all theirs. So beautiful. So now it's 12 26 in the afternoon. I'm getting ready. I'm already in my dress because I have to leave the hotel. So um, I'm already in my dress, uh, although I'm not gonna wear my heels just now, but I just don't know if I'm gonna have anywhere to change. So this is just more convenient. Uh, I'm gonna go to the city and find something somewhere to have lunch. And then I think I'll have to actually warm up in my van. So good thing I came up with a van. I have enough space in it, I think, to you know, at least sit up or whatever. I don't think I have enough to stand up. Up. we'll see anyways um yeah that's it i'm packing right now and fun so i'm at the back of my van just lying down chilling i have to learn a text in english for a performance not for today obviously but there's a lot of text so i gotta do that um I always forget that in Italy, uh, there is no, you know, in Croatia, restaurants work all the time. So you can come at like 3 p.m. and you can have lunch, but that's not that way in Italy. And I forgot about that. So I just had like two little sandwiches and I have a banana, so that's fine. Um, and that's it. Just chilling here and waiting for my slot, which is not in hours. So yeah, just waiting here. 
So I got tired of just laying in my van. It's such a beautiful day. So I just sat in my van and decided to go driving around a bit, looking for, you know, a gas station or something. And I found this outlet village. So we're gonna see what that's about. Hopefully find some food as well. That's not just like small sandwiches. We'll see. Um, and yeah, maybe do some shopping. It's really funny just me walking around in this um, fancy dress and then just, yeah, shoes without socks, so let's see where we got. So I found a piadineria here that works. Uh, piadina is like this special kind of dough, so it's like a toast. I actually thought it should have avocado in there, but I pressed the button wrong, so there's just cream cheese and ham, but it's really, really tasty, and it's great before singing because it's not too heavy, uh, but it's still good, you know, the cream cheese and all of that, so yum! Cool thing about traveling with a van, you have your own practice room because we do have a place to warm up, but I don't think, you know, it's usually like 10 minutes, which is just, then I feel hurried and rushed and I don't want that. So I'm here. I can stand up though, but it's going to be fine. And time to do the warm up. Hello. So it's Friday. Um, yesterday after the edition, I ran immediately to the van to drive back to Milan. So. I'm gonna tell you all about it a bit later, but I wanted to show you. I'm eating this amazing pain chocolat. It's so good. Like it's integral actually, but it's so plush and filled with chocolate. Uh, drinking my coffee in front of La Scala. Look at that beauty. It's weird, you know, when you look at this theater uh, from the outside, it doesn't look that like it's so iconic, but from the inside, it's. Oh my god, I have chocolate in my teeth, I didn't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm enjoying my coffee. My boyfriend is getting tested again. Um, so I'm waiting for him and enjoying my Italian breakfast. So regarding my audition yesterday, I am very, very happy with how it went. Um, although I must admit that at the beginning, I, like, I, I came there to the theater. They actually have the theater in the city. This is like the Giulio Neri's birthplace if you don't know who Giuliano is just go youtube him he's like the best uh he's an, an old opera singer anyways and in this place it's like a super super small village and they have a theater it's a very small theater but they have a theater got a lot of italians anyways i came there and i heard this girl um singing tuke di gel which is one of my audition arias and of course i became super self-conscious i'm like i can't i can't sing like this i shouldn't i just I should just leave and I went to the van and just watched some, you know, series. And then I thought, I mean, I came all this way. It took me a very long drive to do this. So, I'm, I mean, if I'm here, if I have those three minutes, I might have well just enjoy it. Um, you can watch the whole video about this story on my Instagram, but I had fun. At the end, I had fun. I said to myself, like, whatever, I'm here to have fun. I, I came all this way and I have three minutes. So why not? Might as well just use it, you know, and be just me. And I did. We talked and I had I had fun. I really did. I was still scared. I mean, I could see my leg shaking like this. But um, it didn't affect my voice. Everything came out. And I, you know, I acted and I'm, I'm really, really happy with how it went. So, one of the better additions I had. Uh, you know, the aria I sang, Akimi di Chamai, from uh, Don Giovanni uh, by Mozart. And it's finally sitting in, you know, I've done it enough times now that I'm sure about it, which feels really good. So all in all, it was a really good addition. I'm glad I went. Uh, I still don't know the results, but whatever, you know, I'm just, I'm really happy with it. And that's what I went for. So good job. Good job, Buddha. By the way, can we just notice that because of all my nose glowing the, the past week, I don't have a lip, like it seems like I got Botox, like I can't smile, it's all like so stiff, like what is with that? Eh. This Duomo, like look at this. I've been here a lot of times by now, but it never ever stops to amaze me. It's just like, how do people make this happen? Look at this. Incredible. And now back into my favorite place on earth. Oh, Every time I'm in Milan, I have to come here because I just like to see them all and say hi. <laughs> what are you going to do after a performance? Practice. 
home. I'm really grateful that, you know, here you can find practice rooms in Zaga, we don't have those that you can just pay and go practice to, which really is important, you know, just to feel like going somewhere to do something. So yeah, this practice room doesn't have windows, but it's good anyways. Gotta practice, gotta put everything back in place. So I'm driving right now, I'm- uh, In 200 meters, slight right to stay on via Giuseppe Ripamonti. So I'm trying to find parking for my van to repark it from a parking I want because it's quite expensive. And you people, like driving with Italians, it's insane. It's insane, they're insane. I mean, I love them, but it's just, there are no rules. You're just like- Slight right to stay on via Giuseppe Ripamonti. This is performer's life for you. Look at that. <laughs> oh, dying. <laughs> so this is how you iron. <laughs> now this is what you call a lunch with a view. Look at that. So it's Saturday, as you can see, it's a beautiful day here in Milano. Um, I'm alone again uh, this morning. Tony's in rehearsals again until 3 p.m. I think. So I took myself out for some nice meal. Uh, I'm gonna go practice singing again. I didn't pass to the next round of the competition. I found out yesterday at 2 a.m. from their website. And that's the only thing I don't understand is why why is it so hard to send an email if you don't pass an if someone doesn't pass an audition? I've experienced this several times now that you know you don't find out. You, I either don't find out at all that I didn't pass, or you have to find it through really really weird ways. And I just don't understand why it's so hard to send an email. But okay. Anyways, um, it's always hard not to pass an audition, but it's okay. I'm okay, and you know, lesson learned. Moving on back to practice and my time will come right so i'm home and i thought about you know i have still time so i can watch an episode of a tv show and then i can do some work and i was like nope girl first meditation then affirmations then singing then if you have time you can watch something that's like i think the hardest part for me of being you know on my own and just like making my own schedule it's so easy to just tell yourself um i have time i can just chill and then not prioritize because you have time. So changing that habit. It's not easy though. It's really not. I finished my practice and I'm here. This is called Le Colonne because of the, well, obviously the columns. And I'm just gonna learn my text. So it's Sunday, my last day in Milan. Uh, it's Monday, oh my God. <laughs> It's Monday, my last day in Milan. I'm going home back tomorrow, to, yes, today. Um, yesterday was Sunday, I didn't record anything because yeah, we just took a day off. Uh, we went singing, of course, because in your relationship with the singer, you use the free day to practice together. Um, yeah, crazy week ahead again. Um, it's always funny, like deadlines come way too soon for me. I have to make recordings again. It's a never ending story with recordings. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna finish this vlog here because the only thing that's left is just, I'm going to practice again and then sit in a car for like six hours. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching again. Uh, if you have any things that you would like for me especially to record, let me know in the comments below and another competition in the books. Um, not going out of failure, learn something new again. Uh, motivated me to practice on very specific things and looking forward to the next